Hello guys, welcome back to SolidWorks Exercise 7 tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to make 3D model using this drawing. So before starting the video, if you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. First of all, we are going to make this sketch and then we will make, make it extrude toward 54. So let's start. Check front plane, go to sketch and make the two circle of dia 22 and 16. Select circle from here. First of all, make the radius of 16 and then radius of 22. Like this. So now we will make a straight line like this of 54 and then we will make this sketch so make the line of 54 like this so now you can see that it is 15 from here and 22 in the between so we will make the reference points and we will make a center line to make our sketch referencing. So from here to here we will give the value of 11 because total it is of 22. Like this. Now we will make the vertical line of 15 15 millimeter and so from the distance between these two lines are 7 so we will make the horizontal line like this and give it the value of 3.5 from the center line so that it can make the 7 total like this now we will make the vertical line and attach it to the circle of radius 16 select the line and drag it toward the smaller circle like this so you can see that our sketch is fully defined because of these constraints make sure that whenever you are going to sketch your sketch should be fully defined now we will simply trim the entities we don't need like this so this gray color is showing that this part will be extruded and this is the close contour so go to exit sketch go to feature and extrude it in the middle mid plane and add the 54 mm then like ok so now our first part is ready. Now what we will do is to make this shape complex here. We will cut this model. So for that we will select this face, go to sketch. So from here you can see that it is going to make this shape. And then we will make it cut extrude. So we are first of all we will make the center line. for the reference and then we will make the line with 11 mm vertical length after that we will make the line at some angle and then we will give it the dimension with center line of 16 and then we will make the vertical line of 25 so it will be fully defined like this 
so we are going to make the value of 16 and from here and we will give the dimension to this vertical line of 25 so now what we will do is we will make the line of 5 and so the, from the center line it is 11 because the total length is 22 so we will make the horizontal line and give it the dimension of 11 from here like this after that I will make the line toward this point so to make our sketch fully defined and to make the dimension accurate we will give the total length of 54 so the total length from this line to this line is 54 so now you can see that our sketch is fully defined and the dimensions are automatically adjusted so now what we will do is we will close this control like this and make it extrude cut with the mid plane or through all both select ok so now you can see that our one side is ready now we will simply mirror this feature so that we can make the geometry toward this side so select this cut cut extrude go to mirror command and select front plane from here select ok so our 90% part is ready now we will make this hole the dimensions are given it is 27 for vertical uh, horizontally and 16 vertically select this face go to sketch make the point give it the dimension of 27 and vertical dimension of 16 So the dia of the hole is 19 make the circle and give the radius 19 by 2 so you can see that our radius is automatically adjusted now we will simply make it extrude cut and select through all both from here Okay. So now you can see that our model is ready. So this was a simple command and feature. We have just used three features to make this complex model. So thank you for watching. Keep sporting and stay tuned for the next videos.